When you sit down and think about it real hard, the World Wide Web is really just a giant library, a collection of files, images, sound, animations, and other content. Web pages are just interfaces for playing back that content. What this means is that your website isn't just one document, but many documents connected together. One typical page will have links to images, music, and other pages, and this content will require some organization on your part. Some websites can be very simple, only consisting of a few pages in one folder. Other sites have infinitely more pages grouped into several different folders, sometimes folders within folders. But no matter the size of the site, you'll want to keep things organized. When we talk about file structure, we're referring to how we're going to organize the different pages of our site. Will we put everything in one folder? Will we use many folders to keep pages organized? It depends on the kind of site that we're making. If we're going to have lots and lots of subpages, we'll probably want to put them in different subfolders. This will make it easier to find them later on. Most pages of our portfolio site, like our index page and our resume page, will simply go in the main folder. But we'll put our album pages in a subfolder within our main folder to keep things organized. We'll call that folder albums. We should make sure that the file structure on the computer mirrors the file structure in the web space. But the best way to organize files depends on the type of website you are building. For our portfolio website, we're organizing some files by subject, specifically our photo galleries. But if we were making frequent updates to our website, then we could also organize our files into directories based upon when we uploaded them. And we can also consider organizing by the type of file we're uploading. Having separate folders for images and multimedia helps keep the main directory from getting too cluttered and makes things easier to find. A website with a well-organized file structure is a website that will be easy to maintain and easy to navigate. File structure is important to establish early in website development because when you begin creating your website, you'll be linking between pages all the time. In order for those links to work, you need to determine ahead of time where each page of the website will be located. Any changes down the line can lead to a lot of broken links and a lot of headaches. Also, when we develop our file structure, we should try to consider the idea of site portability. This refers to the ability to create a version of our site that can be viewed and navigated offline. Making the site portable means that we could transfer our site to a CD or flash disk and still be able to use it perfectly. This can be extremely handy if we want to be able to distribute a hard copy of the portfolio site. Making our site portable also comes in handy for testing its functionality. In order to make a site portable, use relative links that don't include any mention of computer drives and make sure that any extra files used, especially images, are files that are stored somewhere within the site's file structure, not within another person's web space. We should determine how we'll name the different pages of our site so that when we start creating links between pages, there will be no confusion. File names should be lowercase with no spaces between words. For example, if we wanted to call a page My Photos, we'd want to make it one word, my photos, not my uppercase M photos, uppercase P. Browsers get confused by spaces and uppercase letters, and most won't be able to open those links. If we really need to put a space between words, then we use an underscore. Simple is the best for file names, especially since we're going to need to remember them easily later. After all, Telling someone, hey, those photos are at www.myband.com forward slash photos is a lot easier than, oh, those pics are at www.myband.com forward slash all underscore my underscore pictures underscore on underscore this underscore page. Right? Another good tip, you always need to use file extensions such as .html, 
.jpg.gif when uploading files to the internet. File extensions are the three or four letter codes that are at the end of file names. They tell your computer what kind of file this is and what kind of application was used to make it. Knowing what kind of file something is helps browsers know how to read the files they're being asked to open. Keep your file extensions consistent throughout. HTML and JPEG are file extensions that can be abbreviated from four letters to three, resulting in HTM and JPG. If you want to use the abbreviated versions, that's fine, but pick one out and stick with it to avoid any confusion. Making sure that your site files are well organized and properly named means that no one will have any trouble finding things, which is important when creating for the web. After all, when you can't find something in a library, you can ask a librarian for help. But you're the librarian of your website, a librarian who is never actually there to answer your visitors' questions. So they will have to use your site organization to get the answers they need.